Hey there, bases. Today we're going to talk about book two, number 97 to 105. Specifically, we're going to be a half position monster by the end of this one. Half position for base is like probably the most important thing of all time, in my opinion. And we're going to start with this F major scale, number 97. Okay, now think about this. So, now I don't have any tapes on this base, but think about your first position tapes, your one, your two, and your four. Okay. That's, that's a sharp hand position, but now we're going to be dealing with flats. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our whole hand and we're going to go backwards. So, your pinky finger is going to go on that middle tape in first position. Your second finger is going to go on the first, the top tape. And your first finger is back in this half position place now. There is no tape. So we're taking our whole hand back one half step. So if we look at number 97 F major scale, this whole thing is in what's called half position. HP or like the fraction half, whichever way you want to label it. So we're gonna, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to... Um, number these um, and letter these for you. So if you want to grab a pencil, we'll go through it slowly. So go back into half position. F is one. G is four. Open A. By the way, we started on the E string, right? F is one in E string. G is four on the E string. Now we're on the A. B flat is one. Four is C. Open D, two for E, and four. Then there's a rest and a bow lift, and then we come back down. F, E, two, open D, four for C, one for B flat, open A, cross over, G is four on the E, and then one. Okay, so... Really important there um, that we are going to be doing half position. You're going to feel strange because you're going to think all of these fingers are different. I don't, I don't know why we have to play all these different numbers here. The half, the half position is going to change all the numbers. So you're just going to, we're just going to have to go through that together. So if you go to the next one, theme from Violin Concerto, Beethoven, my favorite composer, 250th birthday this year for Beethoven. You see that um, under the second note, you see a half, the fraction half. This whole thing is in half position too. Uh, some things to think about. There are slurs. Remember, in a slur, we're combining two notes in one bow stroke. So that you'll see that curved line if you remember from our slur lesson. You also see these crescendos where it goes the lines. So as the lines grow, we grow with it. Day crescendo. As they start big and they diminish, we get smaller in our in our sound, right? Okay. Mezzo forte, not so loud. Forte, loud. Um, andante, did I say that already? That's like a slower tempo. So those are the things to think about here. You'll see your flat in the key signature next to the 4-4. Four, four. That's telling us we're in the key of F which if you look back at number 97, those F major scale fingerings, that's what we have here. So everything we're about to play is the fingers from 97, so you can transfer them over here. But I'll play it for you, or you can play with me. Two, three, and four. Love Beethoven. Love it. So get good at that one if you want me to love you forever. Okay. Let's keep rolling. E flat. This is an easy one. E flat is one in half position. So remember, here's first. We're going backwards. E is one on the tape, but we're going all the way back. One in half. E is on the tape. E flat is backwards. Um, 
there's an F here, four fingers, because we're in half position, so just trust me, and then the top open G. So we are here, way back, ready, go, E flat, half note. easy one we do all lesson today so that'll be great you guys are gonna be awesome at that one okay hot cross buns same thing G F E flat all in half that's all it is G open G F four on the D string in half E flat one and a half No big deal. Okay, B flat. Okay, so B flat is four fingers in half position, but I'm gonna mess with your brain a little bit. If we would be in first position, it would be two fingers, okay? So we're gonna go back for four in this case. And then at the end of this song, you're gonna see a three underneath the C. Remember, we're going down to third position. One finger for C, four for D, one for C and all the way back for B flat. So here's B flat. B flat, shift down, C, D, C, B flat. Okay, good. That one's gonna be an easy one. Number 102, Viking Way, same deal. Four for B flat, shift down, one for C, four for D. The only one that's missing from the last one to this one is the last three notes are B flat, A, B flat. So here's B flat, shift down. That's D, four fingers. So you're gonna be good at shifting in this one, which we all need to be better at, even me, all the time. So work on your shifting for that one, please. Okay, and then here we are. B flat major scale, just as, as important as anything else in the world. A B flat major scale, I'll walk you through it just like the F major scale. So we're back in half there the whole time. B flat is one, C is four, open D, Come back down. B flat. A. Open G. F on the D string. Four fingers. E flat. Open D. C four. B flat one. Okay, and the culmination of our week of flats is this Slovakian folk song. Great news, there's no shifting in this one. It's all in half position. Take all your notes over, transfer them from before to here, um, and you should be pretty successful. It's an allegro tempo, which means a fast tempo. It's in the key of two flats, B flat. So use your B flat major scale. Sounds like this. For all of you advanced, advanced bass players, we're gonna throw in a couple of extra steps this week. The first step is vibrato. Pinch your fingers like you're turning a door with your wrist. Notice I'm not turning a door with my elbow. So vibrate. Keep your elbows still. Just move your forearm and your wrist. love to see you play your scales with vibrato this week. Okay, happy practicing bass players. If you need me and need help, comment on the Google Classroom or email me. Please let me know and I will be happy to help you through this flat section so you can be the best that you can be. Happy rainy week.